Kids Church Online, where we do church together as a family. We are continuing our series on forgiveness. I forgive you. No, I forgive you. No, I forgive you first. Where we are following some courtroom drama to figure out what really is forgiveness. We also have prayer, memory verse, and of course, some silly stuff. Enjoy. been a year, a whole year. I've been waiting to get back at that Maggie for her lies about me breaking Mr. Newman's window. Oh, I'm a professional. I would not miss the shot. But she's gonna have to suffer for her wrongdoing. It's bad enough that she broke the window, but she, she lied about it. It's such a big mess. Mr. Newman's window as per Exhibit A. And causing a big mess with all these hurt feelings as per Exhibit B. And costing a lot of time as per Exhibit C. Whoever did this is making things very difficult by first not owning up to the wrongs they've done and breaking trust and friendship as per Exhibit D. I ended up in court and had to pay for all those wrongs that I didn't even do. In light of the evidence brought forth by the court, we pronounce you guilty of property damage to Mr. Newman's window. Well, I appealed my case in court and I finally got a letter. I'm gonna sue that Maggie for everything she's got. She's made my life miserable because it's the only thing I could think about this entire year. Wow, that miserable Maggie. But you know what really gets me? That judge. He had the nerve to suggest that I forgive Maggie for her wrongdoing. Here's a few questions to think about. Is being right more important than forgiving? Is having money more important than forgiving? Or is what people think of you more important than forgiving? No way! I'm gonna get her back! It's been eating away at me a whole year since this happened! And I'll feel better if I can get her back for what she's done to me. And I can't forgive her ever! But now that we'll be going back to court, I guess I'll have to see that weird lawyer again. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, we have some serious allegories. Alla... Allegories? Alligators? Allegations. It means what they're saying I did was wrong. Yes, some serious allegations. Maybe forgiveness will be better and easier than dealing with that lawyer guy again. Hmm. I remember this old case where two people were blaming each other for a broken window. I asked them something important to think about. Is being right more important than forgiveness? Or is your money more important than forgiveness? Or what people think of you, is that more important than forgiveness? That lady didn't seem too sure about that. And a year later, is coming back to fight for fair. Forgiving is always more important than being right, or what people think about you, or even about money. Even if it feels unfair, I want to forgive. God's ways are always best. Oh, hi! Welcome to the Bible Pray and Do Treehouse. I was just thinking about our story today. You know, the judge asked a really good question. Which is more important, to forgive or for things to be fair? We remember that to forgive is choosing to be kind when done wrong. And I want God in His ways. 
Instead of sitting in her mean, miserable thoughts all year, Rita could have chosen to bring all of her hurts to Jesus and choose kindness in her thoughts, words, and actions. But instead, she chose to sit in her mean, miserable thoughts for a whole year. Oh, she looked miserable. I wonder what she would have been like if she had chosen to forgive instead. When we don't forgive, we end up hurting twice. Once for the wrong that was done to us, and then again for the mean thoughts that eat away at us. Let's say our memory verse again. You can repeat after me. And forgive us our sins, as we have forgiven those who sin against us. Matthew 6 verse 12. We want to get good at forgiving, and we get lots of practice at home with our families, because stuff always happens. One way to get good at forgiving is to practice with the stuff that we know happens all the time. Think about it. Does your sister sometimes take your toys without asking? Or does your brother sometimes call you names? Maybe there's fighting, hitting, lying, breaking stuff, not being fair, not sharing, not playing nice. Oh, yeah, stuff happens. But these are all things that can help us practice getting good at forgiving. One way to get good at forgiving is to practice with the stuff that we know happens regularly. So to prepare us, we're going to write or draw something that has happened and will probably happen again so that we can plan what we're going to choose to do when it does. When we come back later, we're going to think about what we're going to choose the next time any of these things happen again. Because, remember our memory verse, and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. Matthew 6 verse 12. Let's ask Jesus to help us to be good forgivers. Help me, Jesus, to be a good forgiver and to not hold grudges when it feels unfair. Help me to be kind in my thoughts, words, and actions. Amen. In the criminal justice system, offenses of unfairness are considered especially unfair. In a city near you, the dedicated team who investigates these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Fairness Fighters Unit. These are their stories. Plaintiff is Rita, still complaining a year later about her trial saying it was unfair because she didn't break Mr. Newman's window. The defendant, Maggie, pleading innocent because she can't even remember what happened so long ago. Rita has appealed the case of the broken window to us. The Fairness Fighters Unit, where fair is fair, and that's why we care. As the lawyer of this firm, I don't take it lightly when someone says it's not fair. Because if you owe it, you're gonna know it. If you do the crime, you're gonna do the time. Don't you dare call me unfair, because fair is fair, and that's why I care. I know I broke the window, but get over it, Rita. It was like a year ago. Look at her, she's such a mess. I can hardly remember it at all. She's been stuck with this grudge, eating away at her for a whole year. Well, I'm definitely not going to admit it was me after all this time. She can just forget about that. 
Let the court come to order. All rise for the presiding judge, Justly McPherson. Be seated, please. Case appeal number 445, Maggie versus Rita. Thank you. The court is now in session. Counselor, state the appeal, then you may proceed with your opening statement. Plaintiff Rita is appealing to the court on case 445, where she was found guilty as charged of having broken Mr. Newman's window while playing hockey, Your Honor. Ah, uh, yes. We all remember that one. Yes, Rita was found guilty and charged with the breaking of Mr. Newman's window, as per Exhibit A, paying the full cost for the window at $559, and had to apologize for lying and creating a big mess with everyone angry, as per Exhibit B. And costing a lot of time, as per Exhibit C. And a friendship, as per Exhibit D. And so, Your Honor, guilty is filthy. And fair is fair. And that's all I care. But I'm not guilty, I tell you. Can I have a new lawyer, Your Honor? Order in the court. Hey, don't make me put you in order, lady. <sighs> Can I have the plaintiff approach the bench with the box of wrongs, please? Rita, do you remember what I asked you about a year ago, whether this fight for fairness is more important than forgiveness? Yes. And do you think the $559 was more important than forgiving? Well... No, God's ways are more important. Is being right more important to you than forgiving? No. <laughs> this is so good. Forgiveness is more important than money or being right. I gotta remember that. Is it what everybody thinks of you? Is that more important than forgiving? Mr. Newman was mad and everyone thought I was a liar. Is that more important than forgiving? No. Well then, what is it? Why are you still fighting for fairness if forgiveness is so much more important than all the rest? It's been a whole year, a whole year! It's been eating away at me this whole time and all I could think about is that Maggie who ruined my life. Did the $559 ruin your life? No. Was it not the unforgiveness that's been eating away at you that has ruined this whole year for you? It was the unforgiveness that was way worse than the problem. Oh, this judge is good. I want you to keep thinking about that important question of what's more important and what you want to choose going forward in this upcoming year. Forgiveness or fairness? Forgiveness or money? Forgiveness or what people think? Your Honor, I can see you guys have been talking for uh, quite a while, but uh, I'm the lawyer in this case, and I have the fight for fairness all under control. I fight for fair. The judge is making a lot of sense. Imagine had I chose to forgive Maggie right away. Even if I had to pay for the window and apologize and have everyone think I was a liar, I could have brought that all to God and he could have helped me. No one's even thinking about that window anymore except for me. That judge is making a lot of sense. I wish I could have listened to that judge a year ago. That heavy load of unforgiveness that was eating me up could have been as light as a feather had I emptied it a year ago. So with your permission, Your Honor, I would like to reenact the scene we are now debating using new, state-of-the-art scientific imaging to get to the fairest conclusion of this case. Let me present the scene to the court. Hi, I'm Rita. And I'm Maggie. Don't break the window. Time for a slap shot. Oh, this is going to be a big one. <laughs> Maggie, what have you done? It wasn't me, it was you, Rita. All in the image. That 
that lawyer makes no sense, but that judge sure does. Yep, I wish I could have listened to him a year ago. Well, I can start now. So you can see, Your Honor, with diagnostic imaging, the outcome of this case is clear. So that all can see that fair is fair, and that's all we care. Your Honor, I have something important I'd like to say. Oh, how exciting! Rita has been thinking about what the judge asked and has been considering what is really most important to her. It looks like she might be ready to forgive. What a change! Maggie will sure be surprised. I wonder what she's gonna do with that. When we forgive, that is far more powerful than fighting for fairness, even when it's hard for us. Jesus helps us. Let's say our memory verse together. And forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. Matthew 6 verse 12. Have you ever had to forgive some hard things? Take a look at the list you are writing of things that sometimes happen at home. Let's get good at forgiving so we won't let those things eat us up inside. For each thing on your list, say what it cost or how it hurt you. And then decide if forgiving is the most important. And then bring your hurt to Jesus and ask Him to help you forgive so that you can repay the hurt with kindness instead of mean thoughts and mean words and mean actions. Jesus, help me to forgive Isabel for calling me names and help me with those sad feelings about that. And to be kind, I pray that Isabel has a good day. Amen. Amen. Praying for someone who hurt us is a great way to show kindness in our thoughts and words. Let's say our memory verse together again. And forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. Matthew 6 verse 12. Jesus, we want to forgive everyone who sins against us because we want to be forgiven too. Amen. Thanks for praying with me. Welcome to another episode of A-OK. -okay. Guys, today's adventure is... Ow! No! No! Ow! 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 Mm. I wonder what that is. Let's, let's go check it out. Ow! 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 Hey! Ow, hey! Ow. What, what are you guys doing? Oh! Well, I am seeing how many times Alejandro will forgive me. Yeah! And I'm... I'm practicing forgiveness. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Uh, guys, that's not forgiveness. What? I hit him on the head and he forgive me. Forgiveness doesn't mean that we right away trust someone who hurts us and stay close to them. Oh, so if I forgive, I don't have to let them hurt me again? That's right, Alejandro. Being kind and forgiving doesn't mean we let people do whatever they want. Hmm, how can I show kindness then? I know, a debt. Do you want to play baseball? Oh yes, that'd be fun. Hey, well go. You want to come play too? Oh, that would be great, yeah. Let's go. Swing, better, 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 swing. Oh, I got wow. it! I got it! Whoa! Yeah! Slide! Slide! Wow! We did it! Woo! Ow! Okay, here comes the spicy mojito ball. Whoa! Run, 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 run! I mean, Oliphant! joining us on today's adventure of forgiveness and baseball. Bye! Bye. Your Honor, I'd like to revoke my appeal and instead I choose to forgive Maggie.
Forgiveness is more important than any amount of money, more important than what anyone thinks of me. I want God and his ways more than being right. Uh, a forgiveness plea? I've never heard of that in court before. Forgiveness? How do you even spell that? I've never had to type that word here in court before. Now, hold on. We are fighting for fairness here. I mean, like dog eat dog, scratching tooth and nail, all for the sake of fairness, or dare I say the J word, justice. If we all start forgiving each other, nothing's gonna be fair anymore. You're right. They'll be better than just fair. I can't believe it. Rita is just forgiving me? Just like that? She's been miserable for over a year and she's just letting it all go? Maggie, I forgive you for lying about me and for me paying for it. I'm not going to hold it against you any longer and I'm even willing to be friends again. I may not trust you right away, especially when it comes to your slap shot, but I do forgive you and I hope the best for you. Sorry. Thank you, Rita. Upon your declaration of forgiveness, Rita, we will consider case 445 closed. Well, I'm really proud of Rita. Forgiveness is not an easy choice. But no matter how much money she makes or what people think of her, it doesn't compare to how important forgiveness is. I'm sure Rita will have a much better year now that she chose to forgive. What a difference an empty box makes. Not holding on to the wrongs done to me sure makes me feel lighter inside. Looking back, it would have been a lot better to forgive Maggie sooner, but better now than never. Wanting God's ways and fighting for forgiveness is indeed way better than fighting for fairness. I sure hope that crazy lawyer learned that one day. Man, where did I go wrong? I had this fight for fairness case in the briefcase until Rita went and Rita Lee dumped the case. <sighs> was it my cross-examination? Was it my witness questioning? Was it my modern day technology? <sighs> I'm sorry to let you guys down. I thought we had it locked up for sure. It's okay, Mr. Lawyer. Yeah, we forgive you. Aww, thanks guys. Maybe forgiveness isn't that bad after all. Thanks for joining us at KCO. Hope you had fun. The family fun activity can be for the whole family. If you missed out, you can go back to our Bible Pray and do trio to do that. Together. I forgive you! Along with our memory verse from Matthew 6, 12. I forgive you for what I did. Join us again next week for KCO's 100th, 100th episode. episode at Kids Church Online. I want to say to trespass against us. I know. Arr! I'll do one without the hair swipe because that was super greasy. Okay. Yeah, that's good. In his ways, more important than being right. <laughs> Almost. Now, hold on here. Break it down now. Oh, what? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that was good. <laughs> <laughs>